everybody, welcome back uh, for another video. Today we're gonna to be doing some barrel testing. So let's see what happens when we compare the Grimberg barrel, here I have in the TCP, with the stock TCP barrel to an eBay barrel. Let's see what kind of results we get, stay tuned. I've got my TCP here and, and we want to remove the barrel. And because we have a Grimberg barrel in there, we need to use our um, Allen key to loosen it. And when you do this with the Grimberg barrel, because it's under a lot of pressure and it's also the VKS spring, you need to put your hand on the barrel and really hold on to it so that it doesn't fly across the room. Uh, this thing uh, is under a lot of pressure and it will pop up here in a second. Once you release the pressure, it's almost there. There we go, you see it popped. And it's a little bit cumbersome compared to the stock barrel, but uh, it's really not bad. Uh, certainly something you can get used to. And, and I find that the screw, if you can see, uh, when it's disengaged, it's out this far, but when it's engaged, it's almost flush when you screw it back in. And so um, if you have the right screw, make, just make sure you have the right length screw. Now, I, I really like the Grimberg barrel, um, but I do notice a few things with it um, that uh, may wear over time. And, and I, I think you could probably see here, it's starting to have some wear from the screw going in and there, there's a little bit of scratching off of the anodizing, but, but it seems to be holding and, uh, and the, the hole is still intact, but at the lower lip where, where there's the pressure pushing the screw against the barrel, it, it, is, it slowly starts to wear away a little bit. And so I think, uh, hopefully you can see that. But um, that's just the nature of the way these were designed. And, um, but it's, it's a really nice barrel, a smooth bore, and um, they're just perfectly matched to the, to the Jewel V2s, and, and that's what we really like. Uh, it has detents that haven't given me any troubles yet. Uh, they're in the TCP, they, they, they hold very well. They're very flush on each side, so, so no issues there. And so I really like this barrel. Now, if we want to compare this to the stock barrel, uh, this is, this is what, what the stock barrel looks like on, on the right. And, um, and the Grimberg barrel here, you can see uh, the breech is a little bit different in terms of the shape. And, and the end is a little bit different uh, in terms of the look and the style. Uh, but this one is rifled. And I don't know if that shows on here. I think you can probably see the rifling and compared to the Grimberg barrel, which is completely smooth. The other big difference between the pepper ball stock barrel is that this one comes with metal detents. And um, I think you can see here, they slip in, in an area that's been cut out and they just slide right in. And that's what I really like. Um, it's a really great design. And, and I haven't had any trouble with these other than one time when I was trying to take them out and I didn't really know what I was doing and I snapped one in half. But if you, if you know how to carefully slide these in and out, they, they, they're, they're very easy to, to change out. Uh, and, and you can clean them uh, if you need to. And then the other barrel that I have, which we'll test, is this long nine inch eBay barrel. This is very cheap uh, compared to uh, more name brand barrels. It's, it's, a, um, it's one of those where, you, where you, it's hit or miss the quality, but if you get one that has good quality, and, and I don't see any problems with this one, it works. And what I have done is I have gone through, like I showed you in a previous video, uh, bore matched the Grimberg uh, Jewels to this barrel and, and it shoots really, really powerfully and we're gonna test it out today. Uh, I've got my VKS um, end on here, flash hider type of end, and it just screws right on. And I just took it off the VKS because on the VKS I'm running a uh, Dishka thunder tip, which makes more noise. And I, I like to have as loud a noise as possible when it comes to these, because you want to intimidate. You don't want to, you don't want it to sound like a paintball gun. And so this is the, the eBay barrel that um, shoots really well. And it, it like the stock barrel is, 
is already grooved with with the right grooves to go in and, and this is designed for t, t8.1 t9.1 uh, it'll work in fsc it'll work in the tcp so this smooth bore barrel is a is a good option now i have two two different types of detents in here uh and and that was just because that's the way it worked out uh, the one on the right here uh, is um, is one of the ones from Sterling Self Defense, and it's a it's a very good one. And I had one already in there that was working fine, so I didn't change it. Uh, but you can see the advantage of the white ones is that you can see them very well. Uh, the black ones are harder to see, so that's a good example in the same barrel uh, why the white ones are nice. And, um, and so those are working really well in this eBay barrel. So we'll test that out a little bit later as well. Um, so today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test these three barrels uh, for the power and, um, and then I'll give you some opinion. All right, we're gonna be shooting Jewel V2s loaded into a T8.1, 9.1 magazine. You see the spacer here, 12 gram CO2. I now have in the stock TCP barrel. You can see the end there. Get the mag in. And uh, we're gonna chrono the shots into the um, Kevlar sheet. I'm not gonna try to get a target and I'm gonna do it fairly close. Got all my hearing protection. All right, we're ready. Two eighty one. Two sixty four. Two forty three. Two thirty two, two fourteen. So you can see how it's dropping quite a bit with the stock TCP barrel and two hundred. And there's really no point to go any lower than that. So you can see the stock TCP barrel compared to my prior video is. Um, is uh, not quite as good at holding the FPS throughout the course of a mag with a 12 gram CO2. So now on the same day, we're gonna compare the Grimberg barrel and see how it does. Just finished the last two. Uh, I need to change the mag anyway. And that's it. Okay, now I've got the Grimberg barrel in there and we'll see how this one does on the same day as the stock. I just charged it up. Three oh three. Two eighty one. Two sixty, two fifty, two thirty seven, two twenty one. and 204. So you can see once it gets down around 200, it's getting pretty low. So that one did a little bit better, not quite as good as it did on the previous video, 
uh, but we'll look at the numbers and see. All right, this last one is really more for fun. I, I never would carry this. This is the long eBay barrel. But, and of course, if you're really wanting to use this, you could you could add on some compensators and, and a grip and it would be a really nice setup. Uh, but I wanna show you the power that we get with this eBay barrel. So we're gonna chrono the same. And this one shoots a lot harder so, and I'm up pretty close. So the balls may be bouncing back a little bit uh, my trap works really well from back 20 feet, but when I'm up this close, it's a little different, but I, but I think it's a lot easier just to do it up here. All right, she's charged up. First shot. Three forty-five. Three thirteen. Two ninety nine. Fourth shot, two eighty seven. Fifth shot, two seventy. Six shot. Okay, we're back here uh, for final thoughts on this video. You've seen me shoot all three of these barrels, the Grimberg barrels back in the TCP. We got the stock barrel here, the eBay barrel here. It was very clear from the numbers that the Grimberg barrel outperformed the Pepper Ball barrel. Uh, first shot was a lot higher. Even the second shot matched close to the first shot for the pepper ball barrel. And the Grimberg barrel was able to be a little more air efficient uh, because you, you're losing a little less air through the rifling, uh, which you have in the stock barrel. And so I think the Grimberg barrel clearly wins. And, and if you want to really say, well, is it worth it? Well, that's, that's for you to decide in terms of the jewels and the uh, how much that means to you, and that's something that uh, we can talk about later. The other thing was the eBay barrel. One thing that people probably don't realize with longer barrels is that, that they are less air efficient. And I, I had to go look this up and re do a little reading, and I, I found on the ANS Gear website, you can find, uh, they have some, some language on there talking about longer barrels and how they, they take more air to push the ball through the projectile, the projectile through the barrel, which is the good thing. That's why you get more power from a longer barrel, but at, that's at the expense of efficiency. So you're using more air per shot. That's why I was getting really great results and then it just died. Uh, my CO2 was completely empty and I have never had that happen. So, but I usually have never started with uh, shots uh, that high in terms of FPS. Uh, and again, these were with the Jewel V2. So there you had a really nice result and then it just died after the fifth shot. Um, but they were five really great shots. And so longer barrel, less air efficient overall, but if you tune it back down, uh, that's the, the really important point. If you tune that back down to around 300 for the first shot, you can easily get through that mag and you can get a lot more shots. And I, and I didn't do that. I have my, I don't run this barrel. I run the Grimberg barrel and, um, and so I had it set up and optimized for this Grimberg setup. Um, so it's something I didn't take into account, but you were able to see the increase in power that we got with the longer barrel. And so I think that point was well made. So hope you enjoyed it uh, and everybody take care. Uh, please like, subscribe and share my videos and I uh, hope to see you next time. Okay, so here are the uh, results uh, on a graph. You can see the stock barrel, the Grimberg barrel, and the eBay barrel on this graph. Uh, and uh, and there are the stock barrel and Grimberg barrel are five inch, the eBay barrel is nine inch. So it's really not a fair comparison with the eBay barrel. Of course, it's gonna have more power. But when you look at the slopes here, those are, these are pretty reasonable slopes for the stock barrel and the Grimberg barrel. They start out um, 
up into around the 30 range and they go down steadily almost a, almost a linear decline with the Grimberg barrel just outperforming at every time point so so it's clear that you get that boost from around 30 up to 34 so about four or five joules whereas the eBay barrel at this current setting like I just discussed uh, it'll it'll go way up into the into the mid 40s but there was this really steep decline initially. You see right here, uh, even though it's really high, higher than the Grimberg barrel, uh, that nine inch barrel used a lot of air, especially on that first shot, and that slope was really steep. And and then at, after that, it was it was declining at, at pretty much the same rate as the other barrels, but it gave out. Uh, there was no more air after that fifth shot. So overall, uh, I think this is pretty much what you might expect. Um, and I think uh, everyone knows the Grimberg barrel should outperform the stock, but here you can actually see the information and make decisions based on whether you think that's worth uh, buying a new barrel or sticking with your stock barrel. And the eBay barrel definitely has power. You could definitely do a build of one of these uh, with a 12 gram CO2 and, and probably bring that down, tune it down and get uh, um, a much uh, uh, less steep decline in FPS and joules. Uh, with an eBay barrel. Uh, I don't have a Grimberg 8-inch barrel to compare it to, but I, I feel like they're actually very similar. But that would that's just my guess because I don't have one. But overall, I, I hope this was helpful and, and, and you can clearly see the results. And um, um, it's, it's good to see these head-to-head -head in a comparison from the same um, TCP tuned the same way on the same day.